My favorite part is the intro. Driving out to the land <coughs> to work on the house. <coughs> We've got all of our cedar siding in the back that I've ripped down on a table saw. Uh, so we gotta sand it and get it all prepped and ready, and then we can put it on the outside of the house. We got no staging, so we gotta do it all hanging off the tree house. So much, so much fun. I've had pneumonia for on and off for like seven months now. So I keep getting fevers on and off. I went to the doctor finally and he told me that I've had pneumonia for a very long time. So I took antibiotics, which I don't like to take, but Seven months of pneumonia and antibiotics, I guess, what I have to do. And I'm here also. And Indy's here with me. We are gonna try, I've been trying to talk him into doing a video blog with me. And yep, I am editing it, so I did do it. Yeah. Because he's better at it than I am. So we're gonna try and do this together more often. School will be starting soon, so homeschool. Yep, we're trying to get this house all finished so that we can move, move in. It's gonna be amazing. Can't even imagine what it's gonna feel like to live there. But it's gonna be really, really good. I mean, Indy, Indy's been living in a tent for a long time, a and long time. a year, I think, yeah. sleeping in a tent, and, a year and, a half. and because it's the wet season, it's like loaded with black mold. Because it's wet season, that means we get wet. That's the truth, basically. <laughs> it's wet season, we get wet. They literally wake up in a swimming pool. Somebody, there's a pinhole in the bottom of the tent, and it's like a rubbery floor, so the water just <laughs> rises in the tent. It's like a water bed. And then somebody poked a hole. And now they sleep in the water. And someone cut a roof, like a hole in our roof. So now we have to put plastic over it. Crazy drunk people come to our house in the middle of the night. I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> and me and the boys are standing outside, and he's talking about he's bleeding and to call the police. And he had a giant suitcase with him, or a, or a guy. Nobody knows. We couldn't really see. I was say he was just talking to himself. Yeah, but he was talking really loud at like three or four in the morning. And but this is not the only time this happens. So us moving out to the treehouse means all the boys can be in the house with us, where it's safer. And I just don't like the idea of them being in the tent and any. But and they sleep with the zipper wide open all night. And I've told them ever since they've lived in there to unzipper the. It's hot. It gets hot. In there. But there's no air ventilation in the sidewalls if you unzipper them. Somebody in the middle of the night tried getting in because they bring a laptop in there and and sometimes they have like other their phones in there or whatever. And somebody while they were sleeping cut the screen to sneak in. So they have a big hole in the screen. So if they open up the sides, then it fills with mosquitoes and then somebody can just crawl right in. When he's cutting open the screen, he didn't realize that there was, there was another flap in the way. That's why he didn't get in. Because when he cut the screen, he couldn't get in because there was another flap in the inside. Yeah, a piece of canvas. He was like, oh. <laughs> but I don't like I don't like Indy sleeping in the tent or the other boys sleeping in the tent. For that for, for that reason, it's a pretty good reason. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of crystal meth on the island, and I don't want always being uh, subject to the nonsense that comes from that. 
but we were able to get some uh, two befores and uh, was to build them their bedroom floor because they were just going to live in a tent underneath the tree house. Because the tree house it might look big, but actually the square footage is not very much at all. Yeah. It's only about a thousand, uh, about twelve hundred square feet. So, and the two girls' bedrooms are upstairs. Me and Ashley's bedrooms on a loft. Yeah, no, I go up. I'm like, ah, it's not as big as it looks. Yeah, it's not, but it's still nice. It's like almost the same size of our house that we're staying in now, right? Yeah, it is. It's just our house is square and this house is octagon, so. But, there you go, we're headed to work. Um, and I'm sure Indy will pull out the camera and show you what we're doing today while we're doing it. Yeah. Okay, I'm totally sure. You have to, have, you have to do like a, like a crazy sign up. No, we need, we need to do like something that we say at the end of every video. What do we say at the end of every video? Bulgadash. Bulgadash? Bulgadash. <laughs> I don't know. I, actually, I'd have to ask okay. an English person. <laughs> Three, two, one. Bulgadash. <laughs> Bulgadash. Bulgadash, right? Three, two, one. We have to say Bulgadash. Bulgadash. Testing, one, two, three, poopies, poopies. I got the hiccups right now. I got the hiccups right now. I got the hiccups right now. All day, all day. I got the hiccups right now. I got the hiccups right now. I got the hiccups right now. All day, all day. I got the hiccups right now. I got the hiccups right now. Poopies, poopies. I got the hiccups right now. I got the hiccups right now. Poopies, poopies. I got the hiccups right now. I got the hiccups right now. All day, all day. I got the hiccups right now. 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 Poopies, poopies. All day, all day. Poopies, poopies.